Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We love doing our thing. Our cooking segments, with our cooking segments, and this amazing chef comes to, comes to us all the way from South Africa, which in, I absolutely love. And in <laughs> fact, she's the definition of what black girl magic is all about yes. in her country. So please welcome Chef Lorna Masiko. Yay! Yay. You said it good. Well done. Yeah, thank I you. That. Thank you. I love South Africa. I'm always in South Africa, and I, the food is amazing. So I'm I know, excited right? to get started. Okay. Now let's talk to you. Let's talk, talk to us about the hostess with Lorna Masiko. Okay, so The Hostess is a show that I produce uh, along with my team. It's yes. absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. It's about hosting. It's about having fun. It's about enjoying your time in the kitchen. Yes. Um, it should never be difficult. It should never be tough. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I love it. And I think South Africans love it, so it's a good thing. Well, I have a tough time down <laughs> to the kitchen. Right. So I am very excited to see what, first of all, smells... Amazing. It tastes even better. Oh my God. Okay, so <laughs> what are we cooking today? So we're making my calamari and chorizo dish. Ooh. Very simple, inspired by my trip in Spain. Mm -hmm. I love to travel, who doesn't? Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and it's got a bit of South African flavor. I always say uh, food is just the way, the way you cook it is, mm -hmm. is the way it kind of represents your country. Mm. And so um, it's simple, it's easy, it's a one dish wonder. Uh -huh. It tastes amazing. So what part of South Africa are you from? I'm from Johannesburg. Johannesburg! Born and bred. Yeah. Where the, where the beautiful city is. I know everyone talks about Cape Town. <laughs> no, Johannesburg is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, let's start cooking. Okay, fantastic. So I've got okay. some butter here. Okay. Which I'm going to put into the pan. Okay. Which is already nice and hot, which is fantastic. That's okay. what you want. Let's turn that up a little bit more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to add that in there for the calamari because I okay. want it nice and crispy. Mm -hmm. I've got some shallots. Okay. Which are absolutely gorgeous. And the reason yes. I use shallots is because they become nice and sweet. Okay. Sweeter than actual onions. Okay, so, so shallots are sweeter than, yeah. the, okay, than the white onion. Okay, and the beautiful then. thing about it is that the longer you cook the onions, the sweeter they become. They Delicious. Smell amazing. Good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which is what you want. So that's kind of doing its thing and becoming really, really beautiful. I find that the shallots don't make you cry too. They don't make you cry too much I like know. the regular I've been trying to find like a little theory about the onions. Yeah. I've, I've tried the water thing. I've tried crying before. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm like, somebody find me a solution, please, you know? Okay. So where did you get your love for cooking from? You know what? I used to be a ballet dancer, mm -hmm. and I was the first black ballet okay. dancer of what color in South Africa, mm -hmm. which was absolutely amazing. Yes. Um, and uh, from there, the I, I always say that's the chorizo, mm -hmm. absolutely amazing Spanish dish, and mm -hmm. it's... Delicious, spicy, delicious, just amazing. Amazing. I love chorizo sauce. Um, I can't wait to eat. Yeah. Okay, and so uh, from there, I um, I always say I make up for all the years that I didn't eat when I was a ballet dancer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, now I'm doing it and it's amazing. And um, and from there I started doing different different TV shows. Mm -hmm. So I did Top Chef South Africa. Oh wow! Um, I did Celebrity Master Chef. Came out top six, which oh, was amazing. Yes, girl, you better come on and be yeah, black girl. I'm actually doing <laughs> things, you know. So um, I've got. So there, it's going to kind of crisp up beautifully, which is what you want. So is this recipe in your cookbook? The recipe is in my cookbook, mm -hmm. um, along with other delicious recipes. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, it's a simple rustic food that's delicious, amazing to make, and just fun. I always say it, the kitchen should never be intimidating. And what ever. is the name of this amazing cookbook? It's called Celebrate with Lorna Maseko. Yes, Celebrate <laughs> with Lorna Maseko. <laughs> I'm yeah. going to celebrate and go buy the book, child, because I'm always looking for you fun dishes to have for my family because I just I just get caught up in doing the same thing. Love it, love it. So okay, so what else are see? we putting in here? So I've got the chorizo going. Mm -hmm. I've got the shallots kind of softening and becoming mm -hmm. really, really sweet. Mm -hmm. I've got some red wine vinegar that I oh. put in there just to give you that beautiful umami feel. Mm -hmm. I've got some garlic, which I'll put in there as well. Now, what is the culture of food in South Africa? Because I'm there all the time. The food is amazing. But what is the most important thing that you need to know about cooking when you're in South Africa? I think South African food is hearty, it's earthy, mm -hmm. um, it's finding its voice in the mm -hmm. world space, which is fantastic. Yes. Uh, people love it. Have, did you go to Soweto? Have you I've been? Been, I've been to Soweto, And yes. have you had like, like seven colors? I have not had seven colors. Girl! <laughs> <laughs> well, here comes, here comes the sisters of the there. sister circle. Oh, yeah. Ooh, this so that's smells what absolutely amazing. Yeah. So you're going to put in the paprika in there. That's okay. going to add like a beautiful, mm -hmm. like spicy feel to the dish, which is great. Mm, that that smells bad. good. And of course, some that you could just leave out. Okay. And then some white wine, because I love to cook with is wine. Is this garnish? I just love after garnish. Garnish is good. That is garnish. <laughs> um, the most important thing about alcohol, which you'd know, that you have to cook it through, so that yeah. it, it really just, you know, Okay, let's put it down to flavor. the plate. This is the actual Yeah. The so do you serve these result. with the baguettes? Yes, yeah, so that's the bruschetta, and okay. it's got some butter and garlic on there. Mm -hmm. okay. I could serve you guys. Okay. 
and do that for they you. They want us to go ahead and plate it. Yes. Okay, no worries. All right. Just take one of those. All right. You know, I've never seen calamari do. done this way, really. Yeah. This is really and you do something. that, and you just allow that to simmer. Okay. And reduce by half the size. So these aren't fried at all. They're just they're just sauteed. Sauteed, yeah. Mm. All right. I love, I love, the I love, one, over the I love one pot wonders. So this is one of them. There. Oh my so goodness. you'd allow that to kind of you know s oh, okay. uh, simmer uh -huh. and reduce in size. I'm by gonna like go half. ahead and try and this. And then that's the final dish. I know mine well, is not as pretty as yours, Chef Lorna, but uh, uh, well, the, taste, the taste is more important, right? Yes. Well, Chef Lorna, <laughs> we are so so glad that you that you came. Thank you so much for being uh, with us and sharing some of your South African culture with us today. For more recipes like this one, follow her at Chef Lorna Masika. We'll be right yes. back.